and welcome to Pressure Point. My name is Carla Robinson and I'll be your host for today's show. Joining me are my two friends who I've met over the years here in Vancouver, Ian Campbell and Delia Nahaney. And they are part of a dance group from the Squamish Nation, but Delia, you're from the Niska Nation, called Spockwis Slola. And they're here to tell us a little bit about their dance group and what they do and uh, how much a part of their lives it actually is. So uh, I guess any of you, Delia, could just tell me a bit about yourself, your family name. Oh, my, yeah, my name is Delia Nahaney. I'm um, from the Nishkat Nation. My, uh, my name is Delgamha, which means speaking to the air. I joined uh, Spock with Slolem about three years ago, and um, it was really funny because I'd I, I, told, I, was, I thought, well, I couldn't sing, right? And so, so um, Ian and Morris, you know, they kept um, saying, come on, dog, I'm get your regalia and let's get going. And I said, no, no, no. And so finally, when I, when I did join them, um, I was really amazed. I could sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, and ever since then, we've, we've been um, going strong about three times a, m a month. We um, were out performing, sometimes three times a week. And we've been getting really exciting performances. Um, we've done things for Procter and Gamble, um, Royal LePage, and um, we opened GM Place, and um, and there's a lot of exciting things in the works. And um, we're getting calls constantly. And sometimes we've had to turn them down or give them to another group. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've been part of the part of Spock with Sloan for how how long? Well, um, our group Spock with Sloan actually originated um, in 93 after a, a, a canoe journey to Bella Bella. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been singing ever since and uh, for me one of, the, one of the exciting things about our group is that um, we take the, the traditions of our ancestors of the, the Coast Salish people here with the uh, style of music and our traditional regalia, um, but we use it in a contemporary sense um, in our presentations. Uh, a lot of the group has composed our own material, our own singing and dancing. Um, we choreograph a lot of our own dances and stuff. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. We could collaborate our ideas. And um, we're all like family, so we get to have fun at what we're doing. I think that's what makes it special. What makes you want to be a part of Spock with Sloan? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, um, it's the, uh, the pride in our culture, um, my upbringing. Uh, in the Squamish Nation and uh, as well as the Musqueam Nation from my father's side. Um, I feel very strongly connected to, the, to, to our roots, um, what our ancestors have left for us. Our, el our elders have persevered against uh, many odds in residential school, the Indian Act, uh, the reservation system, uh, legislation that prohibited us from potlatching at one time. Uh, now we no longer have to hide our identity, we no longer have to um, be persecuted for potlatching, celebrating our culture. So, I think now the opportunities are so um, so wide that I really enjoy going out and reaching out to other cultures and sharing something that I enjoy. That makes me feel good, and hopefully, if I can feel good doing it, other people enjoy participating with us in dancing. And so, in your community, um, you're you're a representative then. Well? Oh yeah, we're all dignitaries for the. Uh, for our people uh, to represent our people in a positive way. Um, um, we carry names, ancestral names, uh, that tie us back to our families. Um, like my, na my name is Khalik, and my second name that I received is Sukyo. And these came from my mother's family in North Vancouver. Um, and Sukyo is the chief name that my grandfather handed down to me. Um, so the way we repre represent um, ourselves uh, I guess you could say we're no longer representing ourselves, we're now representing our whole family and in essence it's our extended family which is the whole community so we have to really um, sort of be positive role models as well and we do a lot of work with children uh, teaching our language, the songs, the stories and the dances so it's a lot of fun. Mm. And Delia, one of the songs that you sing, the Frog Challenge song? Oh, yeah, That was given to me by my father, Chief Lyon Will. And um, he felt the best way of learning a culture is to actually participate. So what I do is I get the audience up and um, most of the time it works really well. Um, everybody gets excited and we have everybody up dancing. Um, 
uh, I was surprised like the first time we did, first time I went over I wasn't sure but you, you know you've got to try th new things because people see you if they see you constantly and you see you constantly doing um, the same thing that you know they just sort of get bored you know and um, we're always we're always reaching out pushing pushing the edges and trying something different and also trying to maintain um, maintain our professionalism and maintain what we have a lot of the good stuff we do have but we're always pushing the edges and trying new things and you know <laughs> <laughs> do you find it do you find it reaches out like beyond dancing like going out and dancing somewhere at a cultural event or do you find it affects other parts of your life as well um, for myself um, it's the drumming singing is, is a part of my life that that helps to balance um, it's sort of a release for a lot of stress and stuff. I like to pick up my drum and sing a song uh, because you know, uh, music is a universal language anyway. It, it appeals to a lot of people. Um, but along with the language, uh, with, with the song comes the language and uh, the stories and the history of our people. So it's not only picking up a drum and singing a song, but it's also learning where these songs come from, um, what they signify, uh, what our regalia means. And um, we really have to do a lot of research and history as to our, um, our traditions and our culture. It's like when we go in our canoes, um, it's not just getting in a canoe and paddling. There's a lot of protocol that goes along with it and uh, training ourselves spiritually, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. It, it's, it sort of helps maintain a balance in my life. Yeah, we all have a lot of stressful jobs, each one of us in, in the group. Um, I'm, I work as a career counselor. Um, Ian works as um, a a teacher and or uh, support, worker. support worker in the school. Same with Morris, he works as a support worker and we're either in the employment field or the education field or but each one of us has a very stressful job and this has to be fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, if, if it's not fun then um, it's not what we want to do because we already have full-time jobs um, but but we find it really exciting. It's um, Especially when the uh, audience um, reacts, you know, when we have a positive reaction from the um, audience. Once we had uh, two standing ovations um, oh, really? in the very same night, and you know, things like that get you really pumped up, and it does it does go into your professional life because you find yourself a lot more confident um, because you're bringing with with you into your professional life, you know, your heritage, and you have something to be proud of, and that brings up your self esteem. And um, um, and you, you you just are a lot more confident in the way you hold yourself and how you talk to people. You're also you're always aware you know of where you came from and how how long it took you to get to that point. So it you know so when we're working with people, we understand um, we were at that point at one time too, you know. And as long as you just keep going and you keep developing, it doesn't have to be you know singing and dancing, but um, any type, anything in your culture that makes you proud of who you are, any culture, mm -hmm. um, will only make you stronger mm -hmm. when you when you go into um, your professional life. I think it's a growing as well. Um, you know, we're we're always learning, and we we learn from each other in a group, which is really uh, beneficial. That we all have our own talents that we could share with one another, and it, it complements each other. Uh, because as long as we're still learning. I think that's important uh, and we're still growing. It helps us with our own sense of identity, our sense of belonging and uh, pride, like, like Dalgam Hall was saying. It's, uh, it's things that we could share with other people, so we're reaching out, not only helping ourselves, but um, it reaches a larger audience as well. Do you see um, the revival of culture happening outside your group as well in other parts of the Native community? Oh, definitely. Um, Nowadays, um, it's, it's, it's historic in the sense that our people have so many opportunities um, to get educated, to, um, to become a professional in whatever field they choose. But on the same line, we still need to remember our traditional teachings and our traditional way of education, which is um, talking to elders and talking to our family and finding out um, about our language, um, about our stories, and, and these things that are important to our people. Uh, we've, we've had thousands of years to develop our culture on the coast here 
and since contact with Europeans has, has only been maybe a couple hundred years, our lives have drastically changed. But um, our elders have always utilized what was provided for us, um, whether it be the cedar tree or the salmon. And today we need to apply that same philo philosophy and utilize whatever resources we have today, and that might be education is a tool that we could use. Um, uh, there's all sorts of things that, um, opportunities that our young people are growing up with. Uh, being um, more awareness and more, I guess, um, respectful for themselves, who they are, their identity is a big, is a big issue. Delia, you have two daughters in oh, yeah. the dads group yeah, and other young people as well. Yeah. Do you find, like when you were saying with self-esteem, does it affect oh. them at all? Oh yeah, um, a lot of people um, comment on how, how well behaved they are and um, mm -hmm. I guess they don't know them that well. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but um, they have stage presence, you know, um, they can get up on stage and they feel really confident and you know they enjoy it like um, if they say I don't want to dance tonight or I don't want to sing tonight mom then no don't do it because they have to enjoy it they have to be able to get I mean it can't be something I want them to do but it's something that they want to do mm -hmm. and I find um, um, when whenever a uh, performance is coming up they're you know they're excited for a couple of days you know waiting for that performance to come up and if they if they're excluded at all, you know, they they really feel, you know, upset. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so they really enjoy it then. Oh yeah. yeah. We have a lot of kids in our group. There's uh, Delia and Maurice's two girls, and then there's my niece Chamia. Um, she's eight years old now, and she's been singing with us since she was around two years old. Mm. Uh, there's also my uh, Nukskayam, uh, Rosie Baker's young girl Savannah, who's my little niece. And she's now two and a half years old, and she's already singing the songs, and she's out stealing it, does, the show. Does it make you proud to see oh, that? Oh, you bet. Yeah, the, the young ones are, are our future. So for us to be able to, uh, to bring them up with uh, the heritage, the rich heritage that our people have, it's, it's very um, encouraging. Hmm. So it keeps you go, keep, helps keep you going in your job, and oh, that's great. Yeah, it's a, it's a family thing, too. Like, when we go out, it's like going out with a family. Um, we, after a performance, we, we don't just disperse and go our own ways. We all go for a coffee or something and, you know, talk about the performance and, mm -hmm. and get together as much as we can, you know. So it's, it's a family atmosphere. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's um, um, the... Um, okay. I find, you know, that... Um, the kids, you know, they really enjoy that, so. Well, thank you very much. We are going to have to cut it off here because we want to join and share in some of your dancing and songs. And so we're going to go to Spock with Slalom, Slalom and uh, the whole group, and they're going to sing a shortened version of their dance. And if you'd like to see their, see their group, you can give them a call and then find out when and where they're going to be playing here in the Lower Mainland. But so don't go away because we'll be back with Spock with Slalom and they'll be singing a uh, uh, very rich medley of their songs.
from the Michigan Nation.
Fresh O's.